Uh, morning, everyone. Uh, morning, Coach. Morning, my brother. Uh, can you please just uh, give us uh, what 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 would you say was difficult about the about the first leg uh, away? Thank you. Uh, I wouldn't really say it was it was difficult to be honest, but I I would maybe try to highlight some of the challenges that we had. I think the temperatures uh, were very high and the humidity also, which makes uh, it very difficult to play, for players to play at the normal intensity that we are used to. Uh, the AstroTurf also did not help that much. Uh, we struggled with firm passes. Many, many passes were nearly cut because Initially, more especially first half, we made a lot of mistakes of thinking we are playing in a normal pitch because the artificial turf was new, which was good, but uh, the fact that it was new also, it made it a little bit heavier in terms of the ball not moving very fast. But uh, the opposition was, uh, was what we expected. We had profiled them. We knew the three areas that ca they can hurt you on. One, uh, it's uh, their transitions from defense to attack. They are very powerful, very strong. A good dress rehearsal in our preparation for the Arrows game uh, because they are very good on transition. Two, they are wide channels, very powerful fullbacks, always overlapping, winners coming into the off spaces. We expected that, and that is what came out into the match. And three, on set pieces, we know they are very dangerous, they very aggressive. They compete for every ball and their delivery is also very decent. And the, those are areas that we expected from the match. Uh, in terms of the match itself, maybe one would, would remember in one of the interviews I said, in the PSL, you, at times you get away with a, a whole lot of mistakes. Uh, but in the Champions League, it's a little bit different. Uh, that team, if you were to check the number of chances they created on the day, they did not create uh, that much chances. Probably Dennis was, was off duty for the better part of the game. But one situation, a mistake by Musa, I can tell you in the PSL, there is a very big chance that we could, they could not have considered even from that mistake. We, we, we could have easily defended that situation. But in the Champions League, they, they make less mistake in converting chances. And the second goal, uh, Yes, mistakes of not putting as much pressure on the ball, but under normal circumstances in the PSL, in that area of the pitch, you, you don't concede a lot of goals from, from those situations, but uh, they scored a very beautiful goal. But it generally, in terms of the match, I don't think they were, they were as powerful as we thought. Uh, they had some scary moments in the first half, but uh, which did not lead to anything at the end because our rest defense was good. Our counter pressing was good. Uh, there were a few moments where we gave their two midfielders more time and space on the ball. And that nearly hit us. We improved setting up in that space. But generally, I think everything went according to, to plan. Uh, David, and then after that, uh, Mazola. Sorry, David followed by Robin. Good morning. Good morning, coach. Good morning, colleagues. Um, Coach, can you maybe give us an update on, uh, you know, the likes of Tembazwane and Rivaldo Kotsia, who seem to be rested in midweek? And then uh, as a second question, do you think it's an advantage for your opponents that they didn't have a midweek game, whereas you played you know, a tough match at, at Golden Arrows? Thank you. David, can we come back to your second question? Uh, let's give it to one question, just in the interest of time. Apologies about that. Sure. Okay. Not No, Chemazwan and Rivaldo are, are back. They are legible for selection. Uh, we believe they can help us. Uh, we had reasons not to take them to Devon. Uh, more especially Rivaldo, he had three yellow cards. So we're a little bit unsure in that space. 
Tembas one, it is always important to, to try and refresh him because it's very important to us. So I think in this match, they are, they, they'll be part of the team that we will be going with. Coach Mangoba, uh, I was looking at your, your home record in the Champions League. Um, although you guys lost to Seattle Belus that last year, of which was the group stage, but that was just a dead number because you guys already qualified for the for the quarter final. But just on your on your on your home record, um, how much are you banking on it? Because before that loss was the last time you guys lost was in 2017 against uh, say, Tunis. So just on that, your, your home record, how much are you banking on it? And then maybe the one on, uh, maybe I have to ask later or should I go with that, uh, should we? Later, sir, please. Okay, okay, thanks. We, we always try to approach each game as it comes and uh, it always has its own dynamics, a home match and an away match has its own dynamics. We, of late, try our best to win matches even away from home. It was just unfortunate that we could not win this one. Uh, our home record has always been good, but history at times is not the most important thing. We just have to focus on, on the match at hand and see, and see it through. Uh, the fact that we have scored two goals away from home may, might mean nothing in this match because if they score a goal, uh, we are already trailing. So we have to, to find a way to make sure that we still dominate all the facets of the game. We still fight to win the match and give it a, a very good account of ourselves. So the history in football at times does not really help much. You must always focus on what is in front of you and how best can you deal with it. And that's basically what we're trying to do. There was a hand from Masaka. There any more hands? I think uh, we can go back to David. Yeah, hello again, coach. Um, yeah, my second question was just around, you know, do you think it's an advantage for your opponents that they didn't have a midweek game, whereas you played a tough fixture at Golden Arrows in between those two uh, tough Champions League games? Thanks. Uh, it, it might be an advantage. It, it might also be a disadvantage because uh, they also had the traveling in, in between. And uh, usually when we look at traveling, we focus on the time, of, on the flying time, which is probably three and a half to four hours. But uh, on a traveling day to, to Africa, you have to be at the airport two to three hours before the flight. And after you have arrived, you are at the airport probably close to an hour, if not an hour and a half. And uh, having your players on their on their feet for that long can be can be more tiring than even the game itself. Uh, and the flight itself is not a, always a, the best thing to have when you are when when we, when you are going to play a big match. So I would not say they are in a better state. Also, they are coming up uh, coming on Wednesday towards uh, South Africa, trying to, uh, to adapt. It might not be very easy for a team that is coming from the conditions that they are coming from. So at altitude, it, it is always a little bit difficult. Uh, so I, I wouldn't really think there is any advantage. Yes, obviously, the fact that you played midweek might mean something, but the culture of playing midweek and weekend is something that we are, we are now used to. And our body clock is even used to, to that adaptation process. So I don't think it is much of a, an issue and we would not want to use that against us. We, we believe we, we've got a team that is capable of competing in this game because we are used to playing these type of matches, more especially in and around South Africa, it's always better. Is that one Thanks, Coach, um, you guys went to, to Congo last season. Uh, you beat Tipi Mazembe and Namazula going there. What would be your message to them? And then what do you think they need to get it right to come away with a result? Yeah, maybe if I can first take uh, the first trip that we took to, to Lubumbashi, uh, 
uh, in the first uh, Trump Champions League match that we played with Mazembe there. The, the environment can look very hostile if you are not aware of what really is happening. The supporters are very intimidating. Your trip to the stadium is very scary because you always ask yourself, are we going to come out of here? The supporters are showing you that they are going to cut your neck. They are going to, to score three goals. It's like a culture within, within the, the small town that they are making sure that you are as intimidated as ever. But uh, when you have been there, you start to realize, no, man, these people are very friendly. Maybe they just scaring you because immediately after you beat them or you perform very well, after the match, they are very friendly. They are very nice. And it is important for Amazulu to understand that because it can get to your head when you are, when you are going there for the first time. You will ask yourself because even the roads are not giving you an indication that after the match you will be having uh, an easy ride coming out of Lubumbashi Township. Uh, it becomes very difficult. Uh, even for players, it may look like, hey guys, we better not win this match because it looks like we might not come out in the stadium. But in the truth of the matter is they are very friendly people. Uh, it's just that they always want to scare you before the match and after the match, it's a different story. So if Amazulu can understand that, I think it will help them because when we went there the first time around, we're not aware of that, but it was it was a very scary situation. And at that time, the stadium were, were open and that stadium is easily packed. Last time we went there, we were told they'll only be bringing a thousand people in the stadium, but uh, it never felt like a thousand because the noise they make in the stadium can really confuse you. So I just hope and pray even now they do not have as many people in the stadium because our first encounter with their supporters, uh, the stadium packed to capacity is something else. But uh, I believe Amazulu have got the capacity to, to come back with a result. Benny has done very well with the team. So we can always give them all our support as a country and be patriotic for once to make sure that we, we are all together in this. Thank you, Coach. Last question from uh, Danisa. Uh, thank you, Shupi. Uh, Coach, I believe I uh, hope I'm not wrong. Uh, there will be fans at the at the stadium. I believe. Uh, uh, to be honest, I would really not want to get into that space because I don't know the dynamics of, of what is happening, whether that will happen or not. So I would rather prefer that you speak to our management in that regard. Maybe Mugesh would be the right person to speak to, but uh, at this stage, personally, I, there's nothing to to report in that space.